What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to the bench for a brand new episode here on Sci Fi Wednesdays. Today, we are back on the Mega Man X second armor figure, and we are going to finish off this project 100%. So, let's go ahead and grab the figure and get started. Now, last time I overcoated everything with a nice gloss coat, as you can see, we are fully painted and protected. We need to come in next and do a little bit of paneling, accent weathering, a little touch up here and there, but then we can overcoat Mega Man with a semi flat coat and install him onto the base. But the base is going to be where we have a little bit of some trouble. I initially thought about using some wooden discs and just going ahead and gluing them together and making them look as cool as I possibly could, but that would require me to bore out a large opening in the middle of that to install a battery pack, and that just wasn't going to fly for me. Then I thought maybe we'd start off with some EVA foam. I've got some 10 millimeter discs here and I glued them together, but they are incredibly warped and I'd have to do a ton of sanding and contouring to get that to work, and I'd still have to bore some holes through it to get the battery pack and the switches installed. So instead, I've opted for this. And this is a mock-up and it's a little unorthodox. What we have here is we have a combination of just different parts and pieces. And this is actually a shaving cream container. And we have a lid to another shaving cream container. And we can stack them together, add a little bit of EVA foam in here, line up all the different edges here on the sides of the lids. And I think we'll have a pretty cool looking base. We'll have to, of course, drill some holes for the top of this to install Mega Man here. We'll have to put a battery pack in there and all that. But I think we are on the right track for sure. Now, in terms of our power, like I mentioned, we do have our 3-volt battery pack right here. And this can be very easily installed inside. There's plenty of room in there. But instead of just leaving it dangling, I actually thought I would install it to the top of the lid, right under the undersurface here. We just use some hot glue and glue it down. Of course, we'll have to go ahead and do a little bit of alteration. It's not necessarily perfectly smooth, so we'll clean it up and all that, and then we can go ahead and hot glue that to the bottom of the lid, and then we can just run our connections, run our switches, and put our Mega Man in there. We are good to go. So what we're going to do first here is I'm going to take some contact cement. I love contact cement. It works beautifully, especially for EVA foam. We're going to go ahead and spread some contact cement around the lower portion of this container. We're going to also add one layer around the strip of EVA foam, and then we'll give about 15, 20 minutes to dry. Once it's dry, when you put these two surfaces together, they will hook up instantly. We have to be very careful, be very slow, methodical about this. Make sure we don't just slap it on and not really pay attention to where these parts are going. Kind of spread these out nice even coat on both the container and the strips of EVA foam. And then once these are dry, we should be able to go ahead and put them together and we'll be good to go. So yeah, not too shabby. Now, in terms of the Mega Man figure here, guys, I have a couple of extra things I want to go ahead and do. And while the contact cement is drying, we're going to go ahead and turn our attention over to Mega Man. We're going to do some finishing touches on the figure. We're going to come in with some Tamiya Paneline accent. We're going to go ahead and make a few alterations here and there. We're going to add in some additional colors, a couple of detailed painting there in the back. And then we're going to overcoat everything with a nice semi-flat coat. We're also going to go ahead and start on the base. We're going to start gluing things together. And fingers crossed, we can come up with something that's going to look pretty cool. So we're going to jump into our first timeline lamps guys lots to do today let's go ahead and get this party started get our Mega Man one step closer to being finished let's do it
All right, everybody. So we are back. And as you can see, our base is starting to take shape. We've got everything glued together. So I want to go ahead and start adding in my greeblies, adding in things that will spice it up just a little bit. First thing I thought I would go ahead and do is we're going to cut a nice strip of EVA foam and we're going to place this in the middle going all the way around. Then we can go ahead and we can add on some dials, maybe a power switch, of course, to run everything. And then once we have everything kind of set in place, we can come back, we can do some priming and get this thing ready for paint. Paint's going to be a little bit on the interesting side because I'm not really sure yet what I want to do. Got a couple of ideas, but like most things, I have the idea. I got to try it out before I can know exactly if I want to go ahead and go through with it or if I want to make some alterations. Now let's talk a little bit about the base itself in terms of greeblies. I've got a couple of ideas here that I want to go ahead and use, and we're going to start off with some of these buttons. And these buttons are actually off of an old broken wall phone for a landline. We're going to go ahead and just use these. We're going to cut them down to size, and I'm going to try to match at least the artistic feeling of the actual capsules that we would see in the game. So I'm going to go ahead and have these kind of hanging off the side of the capsule itself. Then we can add in our power button and do any other sort of work we want to do. But we're going to go ahead and jump into our last time lapse here, guys, and we're going to focus purely on the base. We're going to get everything done. We're going to add in some greeblies. We're going to start painting. We're going to do a little bit of stencil work off my Cricut cutters. We're going to wire everything up, get Mega Man installed, and then we're going to have a finished Mega Man figure. Let's go ahead and jump in here, guys. We're almost there. Let's push on. Get this all wrapped up.
All right, everybody. Well, we are back, and after six weeks, we have finally finished our Mega Man X second armor version. And I got to tell you, that was a lot of fun. I had a blast with this build. Very different than what I normally work on. But you know what? Let me just go ahead and show you guys what we've come up with, because I'm pretty proud of it. Here it is, the 1 12th scale figure of Mega Man X second armor version with a custom base. We've got a power switch on there. We've got this painted up. We've got a battery pack up inside for three volts. This is a great little model, a super fun figure. And as you can see, you hit that button, his buster cannon lights up as well as his helmet lights and his crystal light there on his head. A couple of issues here and there, a couple of foibles and whatnot, but I'm really happy with what I've come up with. Let's get you close up here and you can see some of the details. Now the first thing you notice is I did change out Mega Man's face. I went with the more kind of action-y shot as opposed to the previous one that was a bit more on the sterner side. We have all the lights that do light up. I'm going to scroll on down here. I tried to eliminate most of the seams, so that worked out well. I've got our panel liners in there. So you can see the base is nicely weathered. Got a couple of greeblies on there, and I've got that power switch. Under the undersurface of that, of course, I do have the battery pack, and the lid does come off of this if I ever need to switch out the batteries. So that is actually a great idea. And the top of it has some stenciling work done that I printed up off of my Cricut cutter. Now, just for the heck of it, let's go and give you some low light shots of this. I don't really have a good low light setup, but as you can see, click on the switch and we have all of our colors that pop out and it is actually very, very bright. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Like I mentioned, in terms of the base, I did end up doing some work with my Cricut cutter. I ended up making a stencil that was honestly just a circular maze picture that I found online. I just edited it through Photoshop and I dropped it into my Cricut cutter and I cut it out, stuck it down, painted everything. We've got that side switch. And of course, as you can see, we've got our different green I did a little bit of post shade to give it a bit of weathering and the foam isn't necessarily pristine. But that's it for us today, guys. Thank you so much for joining us here over these last six weeks. This has been a really fun build. I've had a blast going ahead and trying new things. I honestly just love getting in there, getting my hands dirty and figuring things out as I go. Making this base was a lot of fun. Putting the wires into Mega Man, also a ton of fun. This was just a great little project and hopefully you guys had fun coming along for the ride. We're going to take a little bit of a break here before the next sci-fi episode start. I want to try to figure out what I want to build. I'm thinking I'm going to go back to Star Wars because I got a couple of ideas there, but we'll see what we come up with. So until then, you guys know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool, and we'll see you back here on the next season of Sci-Fi Wednesdays for a brand new build. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>